<laughs> all right, you know I said I wanted to start showing the goalkeeper some love. So here we go. This is how um, Oliver, what's his name, Kane, um, became the scariest goalkeeper in football history. I don't know how you could be a scary goalkeeper, <laughs> but we about to figure out how. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. Throughout football history, there has only ever been one footballer who was known as the most intimidating and fearsome goalkeeper of all time. With lightning fast reflexes, a genuinely fearless attitude, and a commanding presence on the pitch, he had the ability to rally a squad, but at the same time, intimidate even the most toughest opponents of his era. Striking fear and doubt into the hearts of even the most skilled strikers as they approached the goal. He was truly a force to be reckoned mm. with. So much so that throughout his career, he would become known as Der Titan. Or in English, What was the point of having that man scratching his, you know what I'm saying, for that long on, the, on, on your vid, my bro? The Titan. Very few in his position have achieved as much or even come close to the level of respect his peers had for him. And How long is he? On them blocks, he looked like he stretched like long, long. His name was Oliver Kahn, but there was a lot more to Kahn than just his intimidating demeanor. He was a fierce competitor, a leader on the field, and a true master and innovator of goalkeeping. And there's a reason why, in the eyes of many, Kahn was the greatest overall goalkeeper we've ever seen. So today, we're going to look at his career story <laughs> and see how he became... Hey, yo, the extension on that one. We've ever seen. So today, we're going to look at his career story and see how he became known as the scariest goalkeeper of all time. Oliver Kahn grew up in Karlsruhe, Germany, to parents who were absolute fans of the game. In fact, his father, Rolf Kahn, played as a professional in the Bundesliga 2nd Division. So the young Oliver Kahn was already a passionate young football fan and would quite often go to see matches with his father. But it was during one of those matches, after watching the great Sepp Meyer play for Bayern Munich, being amazed at how beautifully he would defend the goal, that Oliver Kahn was inspired to be a goalkeeper. And ever since that day, he realized the importance of the goalkeeping position and followed his idol's footsteps in defending the goal. There wasn't a single young soul on earth more serious and dedicated to the goalkeeping position than Oliver Kahn. And with that combination of passion and skill, he would then sign with his local youth club, the very same one his dad once played for, Karlsruhe SC, at the age of seven years old. And during- Murray signed with a team at seven? <laughs> hey, yo, what type of... In his youth career, one of Khan's most vivid childhood memories was from a match when he was 11 years old. His team was losing 2-0 and he felt like he was to blame since he let in both goals. But instead of giving up, he stayed locked in with full confidence, eventually making incredibly clutch saves, helping his team stay alive long enough to stage a 3-2 comeback win. That was the moment that gave Khan the confidence he needed to pursue his dream of truly becoming a professional <laughs> footballer. Khan would quickly rise through the ranks, impressing coaches and teammates alike with his lightning fast reflexes, precise ball handling, and unwavering determination. By the time he was 18 years old, Oliver Khan would finally break into the men's team, but for the first couple of years be placed on the reserve squad. However, this lack of playing time led to a fire inside Oliver Khan that forced him to outwork and outhustle everyone on the trip. Oh, that one was amazing. A fire inside Oliver Khan that forced him to outwork and outhustle. He dove the wrong way and still kicked it with his foot. Hustle everyone on the training pitch. And finally, in 1989, at the age of 20, he would become the club's first choice keeper after slowly impressing his manager day after day. He would help second division Karlsruhe advance and make it back to the Bundesliga. That's right, a no-name goalkeeper would defend his club so well that they would win enough matches to make it back to the German Premiership. But what's even crazier, is that Khan would lead this very same relegation quality squad all the way to the 1992-93 UEFA Cup semi-final. Hey, imagine just being that dominant as a goalkeeper or being on a team where your goalkeeper just ain't budgeting and is just that good. Yo, you, you should go to the cup.
which for you guys who want some modern context would be like taking Sheffield United or Blackburn Rovers to the Champions League semi-final. Khan kept 12 clean sheets that season, which was the second largest in Europe, even at one point averaging a save percentage of 79%, which <laughs> might not sound impressive, but you have to realize most pro goalkeepers on average have only a 69% save rate, and Khan was doing this with essentially a second division caliber defense he had to work with every night. While his defenders would often disappoint him, Oliver Kahn's entire demeanor was just so intimidating. The man was a bulky 188 centimeters or 6 foot 2 and weighed well over 200 pounds and was surprisingly agile for his size and had lightning fast reflexes. His stamina, physical... 6 2. Yeah, I thought he would have been a little bit bigger. He, I mean, but 6 2 is pretty big. He looked he look huge though and mental strength were easily one of, if not the best, of any goalkeeper in the world, even at 22 years old. On the pitch, he would have what I like to call amnesia, because no matter how many times he scored on, it would never affect his confidence, and he would continue to play and try to make saves like a goal was never even conceded in the first place. The guy would even sacrifice his body if it meant making a save, hitting the goalpost, or even running into the bottom of an opposition player's boots. It didn't matter. And lastly, he was incredibly short-tempered. Like legitimately, the man looked terrifying. If you were dribbling the ball up to the keeper and saw this, I'm almost certain you'd feel intimidated. Some of his opponents and even the fans watching mm -hmm. wondered if Khan was a little crazy. In interviews, Khan has admitted to struggling with anger issues and having a tendency towards perfectionism. He's talked about the pressures he put on himself to perform at the highest level and the frustrations he felt when he fell short of his own expectations. However, he also credited sports psychology and therapy with helping him manage his emotions and becoming a more well-rounded person and athlete. And this is the perfect time to talk about today's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the world. Yeah, he got dog straight innings. Star in Germany and was already widely regarded as the best goalkeeper in Bundesliga. And after seeing what Khan could do with just a mediocre club, it was obvious that he was a generational goalkeeper in the making. And this is when German giants Bayern Munich came knocking. They needed a goalkeeper who could bring them back to success after a few seasons of disappointment. Oliver Kahn would join his new club and immediately make an impact, going on to play in 32 of the team's 34 matches that season. Bayern Munich finished in second place in the league, just one point behind Borussia Dortmund, which was an incredible improvement from last season's sixth place finish. Kahn's incredible saves would also go on to help Bayern win the UEFA Cup, making it their first European title in 20 years, solidifying Kahn as the best goalkeeper in the league. The 1996-97 season was a breakthrough year for Oliver Kahn and Bayern Munich. The team won their first Bundesliga title in four years, with Khan playing a key role in their success by keeping an incredible 20 clean sheets in 34 matches, setting a club record for the most shutouts in a single... 20 shutouts in 34 matches? Hey, bro. They said the scariest goalkeeper in football history. So who's the best goalkeeper? Or is... The scariest and best same thing. <laughs> I'm saying because if he ain't the best, twenty shutouts season. Do you understand how crazy it is to play 34 matches and having only a 42% chance of scoring on Oliver Kahn? Absolutely ridiculous. Naturally, Kahn would be named the Bundesliga's best goalkeeper for a second time. However, Bayern Munich would fail to defend their Bundesliga title in the 1997-98 season, finishing in second place but still winning the German League Cup and German Cup. But Kahn was still named Bundesliga's best goalkeeper for a third time as well. But the following 1998-99 season saw Khan become an even better goalkeeper, winning the Bundesliga title, finishing 15 points clear of second place Bayer Leverkusen, as well as winning the German League Cup and finishing his runner-ups in the German Cup and in the Champions League. They were so close to winning every possible competition that season, with Khan being named Bundesliga's best goalkeeper for the fourth time in his career, playing in all 34 league matches and keeping 11 clean sheets. But now was the time where many considered Oliver Khan to be reaching his prime as the next few years of his career would be absolutely insane with both club and personal success. Bro, they're winning championships, back to back joints, um, different, different, like he's winning three years in a row, best goalkeeper in the league. That, that just shows you like a good goalkeeper, your team is going to be amazing. If your goal, if your goalie's fire, 
How are you gonna lose if you got twenty clean sheets? <laughs> Y'all, you know what I'm saying like that's that's that should be twenty dubs right there. Yes. The 1999-2000 season was an insanely successful one for both Oliver Kahn and Bayern Munich. The team would win in minor trouble with the Bundesliga title, German Cup title, and a German League Cup title. Oliver <laughs> Kahn would play in 34 league matches and kept an incredible 15 clean sheets throughout the season, with Kahn winning his fifth Bundesliga Best Goalkeeper award as well as his first of many IFFHS World's Best Goalkeeper and Best European Goalkeeper awards. <laughs> Kahn would also be named the 2000 German Footballer of the Year. The first time a goalkeeper would win. A goalkeeper get MVP? He, he the greatest goalkeeper of all time. Y'all don't even gotta tell me. I don't get. I that, that. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. It did to be winning all them um, best players in the league consecutive over and over and over, and then to finally get the best player. Period. Is crazy the award in nearly two decades. By this time, Khan was easily the best goalkeeper in the world and would only continue to reach even greater heights. Because in the 2000-2001 season, Oliver Kahn would have one of the best goalkeeping seasons in history. He would play in all 34 league matches and kept an insane 21 clean sheets. Meaning that Oliver Kahn kept the opposition from scoring for 61% of their matches. Just an absolute wall at the goal. Setting a new Bundesliga record for the most shutouts in a single season. They would also go on to win a third consecutive Bundesliga title and another German League Cup title. But most importantly, Kahn and Bayern Munich would finally win the 2001 Champions League title. Because in the Champions League final against Valencia, after a 1-1 draw at extra time, the match would go on to penalty shootouts. And Oliver Kahn would iconically Ooh. save three penalties in that Ooh. one game, in one of the most stone-cold and clutch goalkeeping performances of all time. Kahn would win his sixth Bundesliga Best Goalkeeper Award, as well as a second IFFHS World's Best Goalkeeper Award, a second Best European Goalkeeper Award, being named the 2001 Champions League Final Man of the Match, and being named the back-to-back -back German footballer of the year. Oliver Kahn was so good that he would place third in the 2001 Ballon d'Or voting. One of the very rare moments a goalkeeper has ever finished in the top three in all of football history. At the club level, Kahn won everything you could possibly think of for a goalkeeper. But it was in 2002 when Kahn would get the chance to represent his country for the infamous World Cup hosted by both South Korea and Japan. Khan played an absolutely crucial role in helping Germany reach the World Cup final. He would keep five clean sheets in seven matches and was named the tournament's best goalkeeper, eventually winning the golden ball for being the best player of the tournament, making him the only goalkeeper to ever win a World Cup golden ball. However, as solid and incredible as Oliver Kahn was, they would ultimately lose to Brazil, who were just way too stacked offensively. Kahn would also receive his seventh and final Bundesliga best goalkeeper award, his third and final IFFHS World's Best Goalkeeper Award, his fourth and final Best European Goalkeeper Award, and would once again finish third in the 2002 Ballon d'Or voting for the second year in a row. In hindsight, seeing how legendary a prime Oliver Kahn was, it's honestly such a shame that he was never able to win the Ballon d'Or. I mean, if any other goalkeeper in history truly deserved to win the award, it 100% should have been Oliver Kahn. I mean, even compared to other all-time goalkeepers, Gianluigi Buffon and Manuel Neuer, for example, have only finished in the top three for the voting once in their careers, while Oliver Kahn did it in consecutive seasons. It just goes to show you how dominant he was, and just how much of an impression he left on the pitch. Kahn would finish the rest of his career with Bayern Munich, where he now serves as the club's top executive, helping them make... Bro, best goalkeeper, bro. He was winning them joints all the way from 94 all the way up to 02. 2020, 2002. 2002. Bro, 2002. But yeah, like, come on. That is dominant. And he's winning it in all the different leagues, bro. <laughs> like, you going from one league to the next league and winning all them joints. <laughs> like, no matter what league I'm in, I'm the best. <sighs> Bro, attitude crazy. 6'2", 200 plus. Maintain their spot as the most iconic German club of all time. 
Kahn would win 8 Bundesliga titles, 6 German Cup titles, 5 German League Cup titles, 1 Intercontinental Cup, 1 UEFA Cup, and 1 Champions League title. While cool. being named the Bundesliga's best goalkeeper for 7 years, the IFFHS world's best goalkeeper for 3 years, and the best goalkeeper in Europe for 4. Without a doubt, one of the greatest goalkeepers the game has ever seen. That was the boy Oliver Kahn right there. Um, hey, uh, dope, dope, dope video. The boy Ray uh, Ray Mayer put that thing together so perfectly. You know what I'm saying? Broke it down so good for the cuss. Uh, overall, I need to watch some some of his highlights. Um, I seen some of them during during those matches. That, those were some like really really dope blocks. Like I, I like the way that he's like being more aggressive with it. I seen him. Running even outside the um outside the little penalty area box, little you know what I'm saying? I think it's the penalty box. Anyway, he's running outside of that slot and getting to grab the ball. I seen him even take a kick to the face. I ain't even say nothing about it um during the time, but diving to get a ball, kick to the face, brushed it off like nothing even never happened. Uh, gotta love that type of stuff, especially whenever um you're so good where you could take a weak program and take them to a, a cup or whatever. I, don't, I forget where he took them to, but he made them good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He made – he. if you're a goalkeeper and you can make a whole team change course, more power to you, bro, because having 20 shutouts out of 34 games, 21 he had, I think that was the most he had, 21 out of 34 games. Bro, that's crazy. Uh, like I said, really enjoyed that. Let me know some other good goalkeepers. I'm going to um, definitely check those joints out. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Go ahead, MTV.